Hey, good morning, everyone. There on Facebook, hope your Friday is going well. I want to talk just for a moment this morning about empathy, the idea of kind of caring about others and hurting when others hurt. Uh, one of the hardest things that I have to deal with as a preacher is knowing how to respond when I'm um, interacting with people that are hurting. Maybe I'm visiting someone in the hospital as they're dealing with a, a terminal illness and they know that their life is coming to an end and, and they're maybe distraught over that or upset or their family is upset and knowing exactly what to say, you know, it, it tugs at your heart and you don't know exactly how to handle that situation. And then you fast forward to maybe someone passes away and, and as a preacher, often I'm called upon to do funerals and, and maybe knowing what to say at a funeral, that, that's not as difficult as knowing how to react when others are sad. Uh, I know what hurts me the most at, at a funeral when I'm doing a funeral service is looking out in the audience and seeing maybe the child of someone who's passed away or, or maybe the spouse, a, a widow of her husband who just passed and seeing their tears in their eyes and, and, and them upset and, and weeping. That's what chokes me up the mo most. Not so much about talking about the deceased, but seeing the family and, and how they're interacting and reacting to that situation. And as a preacher, I, I know that I'm supposed to maybe put on a strong face and, and be able to you know give good advice in those situations. But at the same time, it's also okay for me as a preacher and just as an individual to hurt when others are hurting. And, and I know it maybe it's a it's a guy thing, but it's often my my human reaction to try to put on a strong face and almost feel ashamed when I see others hurting that that I hurt or, or that I that I get tear teary eyed when I see others crying. And and ultimately, what I want us to see today is that it's okay for us to hurt. When others hurt. In fact, Paul in his letter to the Romans in Romans 12 and verse 15 says, Rejoice with those who rejoice and weep with those who weep. It's okay to hurt when others are hurting. In fact, it's not a sign of weakness. Empathy is a great trait and it is also a trait that our Lord Jesus had. A very interesting passage is over in John chapter 11. In John chapter 11, a man named Lazarus has just died. Jesus goes to be with his family, Lazarus's family. And when he gets there, he finds Lazarus's sister, Mary, crying. She's distraught. She's upset because her brother has passed. And in verse 33, it says, When Jesus therefore saw her weeping, the, um, and then he says that he was deeply moved in his spirit and was troubled. Then in verse 35, it says that Jesus wept. Jesus hurt when others were hurting. Seeing the, the crying, the tears of Mary, and the fact that she's upset that her brother has passed, he's troubled enough that it moves him the tears. It's okay for you to hurt when you see others hurting. In fact, it's not a sign of weakness. It makes you like Jesus. So you might struggle with empathy. You might see it as a sign of weakness, but it's not. We need to learn to be empathetic people. We need to learn to be people who care about others. We need to be people who hurt when others hurt. And when we do that, it doesn't make us weak. It makes us like Jesus. So today, my thought for you is this. Hurt when others hurt. It makes you like your Lord. Thanks for tuning in. Have a wonderful and blessed day.